Hey Maplenauts, in this video I am going to do an air layer on this awesome looking Shishiga Shira. And what I'm seeing right here is that maybe I can do an air layer right in this area right here. Okay, let this grow out some more. Maybe it'll throw a couple of buds here in this area and we'll see how it's going to look here. In the future, I may consider doing an air layer down here and get another tree out of this section right here. So right now I want to get this section out and see if I can make a new tree right here. So let's do this. Guys, some of the tools that I'll be using to do this air layer and this awesome looking Shishigashira would be a knife, some alcohol with some paper towels to disinfect all the tools, some wire cutters, bonsai wire, some rooting hormone, a brush to apply the rooting hormone, a piece of plastic or a Ziploc bag in this case, a marker to mark the date and also I will be obviously using some sphagnum moss that is wet as you can see right that would be everything that I'll be using in order to do an air layer right here on the Shishigashira so let's begin guys it is very important for you to disinfect your tools you do want, not want any pathogens going into your tree because if not you're risking a disease and most likely losing that whole section that you just air layer all right so it is very important for you guys to disinfect all your tools and also disinfect the area where you are going to be air layering. So all this area right here, where I'll be making cuts, disinfect all this area right here. Make sure it's very, very, very clean because this whole area right here will be covered with sphagnum moss that is wet and in a plastic and you want that completely disinfected, all right? Guys, and what I'm aiming for right here is to make my first incision right here, okay? I am going to cut the outer bark, the inner bark, and the cambium layer only. So I'm gonna make an incision right here and right here, and I'm gonna remove all that out and leave the rest all right so let's go ahead and start doing you really want to aim for the rings all right this is where roots are probably gonna uh, come out the most is from these rings right here let me see if i can get you a better view that's a better view
Okay, guys, I got my incision right there. Okay, now the next step would be The next step would be to make it really clean. You got to clean all that. I still see Cambian. I don't know if you guys see that. Let me see if I can uh, put it right here in the center. See that right there? Okay, you have to make sure that this is thoroughly clean, guys. I buy all their kind of square looking knife and just just basically just scrape it you see it all comes out you just scrape it Voila guys, done. Now, I need to apply rooting hormone on this whole area right here, okay? I will be applying a little bit here as well, but I, what I really, where I really wanna apply rooting hormone is all this area right here. That, my friends, is enough. Our next step would be to grab the sphagnum moss. Grab the sphagnum moss. And you also can, you're going to need the plastic and the wire at the same time. Guys, this part is so hectic. And sometimes you kind of think that you probably need about three hands to do this part. But you work with what you got. And you don't have three hands. Remove all the excess, the water excess. You don't want that like super wet, all right? Just remove the water excess, right? It's humid and this is what you want, humid. I don't think I'll be needing that whole lot, but you never know. Let's just put some here in the paper towel. Boom, right here. So now you got your plastic right here and your sphagnum moss. And let's get to work, guys. This part sucks so hard. I hate doing it. I believe this piece of plastic is just a little too much. So, I'm going to cut it. Maybe that is okay. Maybe I overdid it. I overcut a whole lot, but... Uh, let me see. 
not really i don't have a whole lot of space there so let's do this make a, like a like a, a section like a highway to the that's where the trunk is going to be all right and kind of pack everything a little bit more than that go ahead and add a little bit water like that right you're gonna put it right there and you're just gonna wrap it around right there in a ball and guys shishigashiras are very brittle trees and if you hear a click i broke a branch hmm okay let's try it like this okay and i really want to stay away from that bottom branch because i'm really hoping for a second tree in the near future and uh, let's see uh, yeah i wasn't kidding when i told you that this part is super hectic guys it's it just really sucks Now to add the plastic and this, now this part I really hate, the whole wrapping around in a plastic, okay? I'm trying to avoid and I kind of feel that I may have squeezed a whole lot of water out of it and Maybe I'm just going to add some more through there. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. We have that. Kind of go in here and Now that we have the bottom part, now we need to focus on the upper part of this wrap. And I, I'm not feeling too well about this part because of that. There you go, already damage there you go okay we're getting somewhere here Okay, guys, now the wire part. And guys, this is not perfect by any means. It looks like crap, but I am going to go ahead and tie it because I'm not going to risk this thing going and undo itself. So I'm just going to, right now, I just need to wrap this wire around. And guys, this is where I tell you you need three hands for this stuff. And I live by myself, guys, and well, this is what I get. This is not the prettiest air layer I've done, but then again, I did not have any space for this without sacrificing branches and sacrificing branches to me was just not an option okay i was really i'm really trying not to go that route <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and cut some of this 
like, I don't know. I don't know, loose plastic here. I don't like it, you know? So, boom. Let me go ahead and wrap one more time towards the center. And what do I see on the bottom? I see a hole and that cannot be there, guys. Bam. And then I'm gonna go wrap it at the top a little bit more, guys, because what happens is when it rains and when you water your tree, water starts coming in through the top and oversaturates your air layer with water. Okay? I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna call that an air layer, right guys? It's an air layer, it's technically an air layer. All right, so it's not the prettiest air layer you're gonna see around, but check that out. It's not bad, right? So, today's date is May 27, guys. May 27, and let's go ahead and uh, wipe any water from here. And I'm gonna put as, I'm sorry that I'm trying to, uh, right with the camera right in front of me 27 not put me right here voila and guys the way that you're going to see i'm going to be posting updates of this air layer and the way that you guys are going to be able to see them is through shorts Every couple of weeks, I'm gonna put a short video of the update of this one air layer, okay? And then at the end, when it's time to cut the air layer, I'm gonna make another video of me cutting the air layer, getting it ready to be repotted into a brand new pot. All right, guys? So I believe that we are done here, guys. This is it, we got an air layer. Shishigashira, I bless you and I hope that you make it into a wonderful tree. This tree is going to be amazing. And if it's a success or a fail, guys, I'm still going to do another one here and we're going to try it again. All right, guys. So that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.